students, welcome to Rona Eju. Today, we are going to see the topic called life process. Life process is the important. So here, we have to discuss what is life process. So what is life? What is that uh, called so called life? So life is nothing but being alive or being death. So in between this gap, we are having some kind of period or time. So in that time, the molecular changes which is taken inside our body that takes place, that movements are actually denotes whether that object object in the sense i am referring here what and all alive here so these objects are said to be alive until some molecular changes that takes place inside the body so for example uh, you just consider a remote control of the television so what will happen after few days or after some days the battery will get low so when the battery doesn't work we have to remove it from the remote control so after we are removing that remote control is just an object so it will be on the table so until that we are operating it it doesn't work it will be at the rest in position so until some external force comes and act on it like a human being taking and using to change the television channel so until that it will be remain at the rest position on the table so like that only if the molecular movement takes place inside the body that denotes exactly the object is alive for example, we can see someone walking on the street and someone playing in the street, someone cycling here and someone is doing planting. So each and every process denotes that object is still alive. So in plants that we can ask, how will we find whether the plant is alive or not? So some people will tell that the plant is looking green in color so it will be alive not exactly because some botanical plants also there they are having different colored leaves different colored and different morphological structures also so we cannot tell through the appearance so if uh, we observe some people uh, sleeping in the room in the sense what will we think uh, due to the process of breathing or chest movement will be comes forward and it goes backward. So by that movement only any kind of movement that actually takes place in the body that makes us to realize whether that object is in the state of alive or death. So this is known as the life process. In other way that we can tell during the class. So here also you are in the class. So during the explanation more than 20 minutes a human being cannot focus into a particular topic that's happening actually. So more than 20 minutes if we are focusing into a particular topic what will exactly happen we fall asleep. So with conscious or without conscious, we feel tired and we will get sleep. So why the sleep occurring in the sense that's a separate reason for your extra knowledge that I'm telling. So when body gets dehydrated, so when we are using our brain for understanding or any other interior process, our body will get dehydrated. So for that we have to rehydrate ourselves. So whenever that we are having habit of drinking water for each and every half an hour we feel fresh. So without enough water or enough oxygen content we feel tired. So why we are sleeping in the sense sleeping is the best process that gains more oxygen to the body. 
so how it's taking in the sense we are closing our eyes and we are just inhaling the oxygen through the nose and it goes to the lungs and it filters it and all the parts of the body it is getting distributed so here how the oxygen enters into the eye so why how it's happening because our eyelids are having some pores pores is nothing but the tiny holes so through that the eye is consuming the oxygen so when we are at open we are opening the eye it actually obtains the oxygen from the atmosphere directly so this is why that we are sleeping when we are sleeping our body will be too hot so i tell you that why these things are happening here first so if we are sleeping due to the body movement from our forward and backward of the chest movement we can identify the object object is nothing but here i'm referring as a human being or any other animals dogs or cats anything else so here if they are sleeping we can find it through only the movement if there is no movement then what will it be considered to be a dead body death material actually so why is the death material in the sense the process of proper maintenance so here the process of proper maintenance why we need it so when we get sleep during the classes if we sleep in the sense we should not supposed to stop our respiration breathing process so if we stop what will happen exactly we will die without oxygen supply we used to die so the process of respiration wants to be maintained inside through some specialized organs so this is how the process of maintenance wants to take place so for these kind of processes we need energy from the external environment so what is external environment for breathing purpose we are just inhaling the oxygen so where does it oxygen comes from from plants from outer environment so we know the process what actually plants are doing they are respiring by taking carbon dioxide inside and expelling out the oxygen outside so with the help of the green plants and forest we are getting enough oxygen for our routine life so when we are inhaling the oxygen the process of oxidization and reducing takes place so for this purpose we need the help of outer environment so during this process the oxygen gets inside so each and every cells need oxygen we already learned that our body is made up of cells so smallest particles of an element or something else that actually gives the exact solid structure of an object so here the cells actually cells are supposed to form tissues tissues are supposed to form organs and the cluster of organs or the arrangement of the organs finally forms the whole human body or any other bodies like a plants or any other animals and single cellular organism also has a single cell within it and multicellular organisms like us we are having a multiple number of cells billion and trillions of cells actually we are having inside the body so each and every cells need energy to perform their process so each cell has some cellular organs inside it In next class i meet you with the next topic the continuation of the same lesson until that bye